when renovating an old East London house on the Nahoon River into a home for her family, Elise Beltrame brought years of experience from working in six-star safari lodges and a wealth of insight on design as a practical art and how it must serve the comfortable, modern lifestyle you want to live. I am actually a self-taught interior decorator. My time spent working in hospitality in the Okavango taught me a lot about creating welcoming environments. And my style is very much about modern comfort. I like a contemporary look, but with an African chic aesthetic. This is the entrance to our home. I don't like clutter, so everything's very simple here, but there's also space to put something down if you need to at the entrance to your home. I've brought in lots of textures here. So there's a very neutral but textured grass cloth on the wall. I've brought in some steel. I like to move things around in my house. And that's the bonus of deciding on a design style for your home and sticking to it. Then your items become interchangeable in your rooms. I love a white wall and a white floor because everything pops against it. And you can see the color from the books, etc. That's all contained in this black dark space. So it looks quite neat, even though the items are actually themselves quite untidy items. And I've brought white leather woven chairs into the space. The woven feature provides texture, as do these grass mats. They are another shade of brown and another raw texture. The kitchen is the heart of our home, definitely the hub of our home. We eat here, we do homework here, I cook here. When I have friends over, we often end up sitting here. It's such a useful space. My kitchen is full of texture and varying shades of green and brown. I've been collecting these ceramics and baskets and wire work for 20 years. And I've always loved this kind of raw, tactile, textured look. These sheepskins are my favorite. I've got them scattered throughout my house, natural pale white ones, and then also these black dyed ones. They last literally a lifetime. From guest houses to lodges, Elisa's business is on site by nature and it has to function on the go. I am not a person that likes to go shopping or go to malls and certainly not into banks. There are too many people, it's too hot, etc. So I recently heard that it's possible to open a Capitec account from home, which is pretty amazing. I need a simple, easy to use banking app that I can use for my business and for my personal use. And I'm downloading Capitec from the App Store now. And let's see how easy it is. Open account, start, I put in my ID number. I need to take a selfie now. That's amazing. I did not have to leave the comfort of my home or stand in a queue at the bank. And I've opened an account and my card is going to be delivered, which is pretty amazing service. It looks really user friendly. I can make payments to suppliers. I can receive payments from clients. I can buy electricity. I can buy prepaid mobile airtime. All this sitting on my couch. This is our TV room. It's obviously open to the living space. What I did here was I wanted to make sure that I had really comfortable couches that my children could sleep on if necessary. And then I brought in a whole lot of different fabrics from different fabric houses to just give shades of green. I actually made a huge error when I was finishing our home and I bought one couch too many. So I wasn't sure where to put this couch. And then I realized I could put this table here and create a really nice 
tablescape. And this couch is the best spot to look at our incredible view of the Nahoon River. So that worked out really well. Then we have a dining area here. And I love having a big long table. So there's actually two tables pushed together. So that when we have friends around, I like the fact that the kids can sit with us. So when we eat, we all eat here together. One of my passions is using local artwork in installations and in my own home. The Eastern Cape is a veritable trove of undiscovered talent in terms of art. And one of the artists that I've got to know through one of the galleries here, CBD Framers, is Tango Bobo. Tango's latest collection deals with a personal transformation and committing to it. A fitting theme for a home that's gone through the same. The work in front of me at the moment are woodcut prints, part of an edition of 12 singular prints from the project that I was working on. As you can see, they are very similar, but at the same time, they're very different. What connects these artworks is the triangle format, because the triangle format for me was a way to represent change and strength. The work is more like chapters within this phase that I was passing through, so each and every title and artwork is a certain point to where I was actually finding this metamorphosis, this change, what was happening at that current moment that I was doing and experiencing the work that you see right now. Elise has made the whole house a canvas for ideas by choosing white as her base color. It allows the views to be the hero and makes it easier to be adventurous with decor choices. This is my daughter's bedroom and I broke all my rules in this room. She's always loved blue and we decided to go clash on clash, pattern on pattern on pattern on pattern. But you can see the overriding theme here is blue and white or blue and cream. Her own color scheme is more serene. This is the main bedroom. It needs to be peaceful and calm. And again, you can see I've used a brutally strict color scheme in here. There's only shades of beige and cream with white. My absolute best spot in this whole house is this outside shower. It's an amazing space and I see birds while I'm showering and washing my hair and it's a must. It really adds a wonderful feel. Having decluttered her interiors and gone for big windows and shutter doors to lend a feel of ease of movement, this most natural of interior decorators then lets the plants, river and subtropical climate set the tone. And finally, I can show you my favorite place in the whole house, our outside space, which is as important as our inside space. We're so lucky with our climate. My kids can be in the pool or playing in the garden. And it's wonderful to sit here around this marble table, which is such a good spot. It's a magnet for guests when we have people over and it's just the perfect size. I love the river right here. I love that I can, the fact that I can swim with my friends a lot and I love looking at the view. On that note, it's been wonderful having the insider here in East London. It's been a real treat. I hope you like what you've seen. I hope you like our beautiful home. We're gonna watch our kids swimming and playing and enjoy a glass of wine together. What home decor ideas do you have to help you and your family live better in the comfort of your own home? Share your thoughts and stand a chance of winning a thousand rand cash prize courtesy of Capitech. Simply reply to the competition post on the insidersa.co.za social media platforms using hashtag Capitech Live Better. And congratulations to last week's winner, Tracy Williams. Get more of the Insider SA online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.